I heard about the site um, uh, in, uh, in Amsterdam. So, when you finish, I'm going to give a fight. Good, good. <laughs> have, so a, have a badge. Thank you so much. In reality, music is uh, my sort of break from being a doctor. I, I do it usually after, after work, after, in the afternoon, just to relax and, and chill. Is there any big surprises about being here? Anything that, you know, is the stage as you expected? Is the feeling different yeah. to the national final? It's even uh, bigger fun than I expected, so <laughs> I, I love the stage, I love the, the meeting new people and so it's, um, it's, such a, such a, it's so good to be here, it's such a nice feeling. <laughs> what is the journey that brought you to Eurovision? Why this particular year? Um, actually, I'm not sure because I already thought about it a couple of years ago, but it, it wasn't the time or not the schedule or... And um, I was mixing my record you know, which comes out in, two, in like a week and a half. Yeah. And I heard the song back and I thought if I have to go to the Euro Song Festival, it needs to be with this song. And I don't know why, I can't put my finger on it. But I thought if that feeling is so strong, let's do it. So it was it. Hello. Ciao. Yes. I remember you. Yes. <laughs> I remember you last year. You were so enthusiastic. Do you feel with the experience of last year that it makes you a stronger person, that you're more prepared for performing? Absolutely, yes, yes, much more. It's much more near me because the song uh, it's represents me. Represents me. Yeah, well, I feel absolutely amazing. Um, I'm really enjoying the experience. Um, everything's happened so quick, as you say, and I, I still can't believe it. But I'm um, just really excited to finally get over here and just get started with everything. So um, it's, it's just it's really amazing. The most important thing is, I think, for me, uh, the song lyrics. Uh, I sing it in Estonian, but uh, the meaning is so soulful and powerful, and it means a lot for me. And this is most important. Hello, this is Robin from ESEToday.com and I'm welcoming you back to Malmo and this is the press centre that we worked at to provide reports and information from this year's Eurovision Song Contest.
How has your life changed since you were selected to represent Azerbaijan at the Eurovision Song Contest? My uh, life has changed a bit, of course, and I'm uh, now I'm well known in Europe, and uh, I'm on the big stage. It's a very responsible, and I, it's, a, I'm, it's a very big honor for me to to become a Eurovision Song Contest. What is the message of your song? What uh, would you like you to keep from your song? Uh, this is a very simple message because uh, I will sing about us, I will sing about friendship, about peace, mm -hmm. and this is all. So you, you must have taken many pieces of advice from many people who are involved in Eurovision. Uh, what was the most precious one for you? Uh, the most important advice was to not nervous and to enjoy. <laughs> How are you finding Malmo and this experience in Eurovision Song Contest? I am uh, very happy being here in Sweden. Everything is good, the technique, the organization, this uh, Eurovision uh, experience, the hotel is excellent as well. The music, my second love is humanity. Talking to Robin Huanvai yeah, or something almost. like that? Yeah, you can say it like that. I say uh, Huanvai. You can just say Robin if you if you want to. Yeah, Robin S. S. Robin, I'm Robin S. You're Robin S. S as well? Yes. We can call us Robin Scott Berg. Robin and Robin. So who's Batman? Can I be? The man Batman? behind the camera is Batman. Oh, yeah. Would you like wearing um, spandex and things like that? I love it. Okay. Yeah, and I have the Batman logo on my chest, in chest hair. Okay. Hey! Oh, almost! Almost. Okay, I think that's probably enough for you. Yeah, okay. So all we need now is the, is the Batman logo. You want to see it? If you're going to yeah, show I us? Yeah, I can show you. So, are you a Batman fan? Yeah. Same here, man. So. I have the wings here, and here's the bat head, and here's the tail. Wow, Ready? yeah. You uh, see it? You how see clever. It?
Uh, my very first question is how our world would be if alcohol was free. Actually, it's not the alcohol that makes you happy. It's uh, having a good mood, having good friends and a good company. So alcohol is just something on top of that. It's not about the alcohol, it's about the good uh, friendship and company and having fun with each other. Not just musically, but as a person, you are a free spirit. You go in the direction that the wind takes you almost. It's exactly like that. And um, I'm surprised that you, you don't know me and you realize that. Actually, I do. <laughs> I go where the wind blows. <laughs> I think it's a wonderful way to be a wonderful a breath of fresh air. Oh no, there's wind again it's there. It's wonderful for me, but not for the others that sit next to me. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to follow sometimes. <laughs> It's all right. I, for, I forgive you. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, let's Pretend go. I'm hello. hello. I'm. <laughs> hello. Hi. Otherwise, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Oh. 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 Emily de Forest. Emily de Forest. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Denmark. 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 But I'm Spanish and I vote for my country. Why you ask me so difficult question? It's uh, Denmark against Norway. Netherlands. Azerbaijan or Denmark, I think. Mm, Norway. I think it'll be Denmark. Probably it will be Denmark. Uh, I think Denmark will win. Who's going to win tomorrow night? Nobody knows.
la vita in vita. Thank <laughs> you.